It's Amy Lee Cavana from MMA UK here with, tell me your full name. David Fell. <laughs> and? Stevie Ray. Our absolute legend of Stevie Ray. Well, what an absolute amazing fight. How are you feeling after that? I feel all right, like, quite tired, but it was a good scrap. I end up slugging it too much, but it kind of always happens to me. I like a good scrap, so that's what happens when you grow up and go in office. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you came out there, you had a fantastic support system behind you. Tell us about your training camp and who's here to support you tonight. Yeah, I, I trained really hard for this. It's, it's been the, the hardest training camp and the diet was extremely tough. I, I'm not going to lie, he'll tell you, struggling a wee bit, but I made it a kilo under. Uh, I don't moan, I just fucking get on with it. Oh shit, I swear. <laughs> I just get on with it and uh, I'm not a moaner, so you know, a lot of people come out here and moan and Oh, that's not. I, I love it. I like the anticipation, the anxiety, everything. So, keep hopefully keep going, keep winning, keep kicking ass, <laughs> taking taking arms, second arm bar. So, and uh, hopefully compete at ju uh, jiu jitsu. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So obviously, you're absolutely amazing coach here, Steve Ray, standing next to you. Best in the game, Steve. Tell us a wee bit about what's been happening recently. Uh, well, I have just been. Uh, I had surgery four weeks ago, so I've been um, putting a little bit more kind of time into my my gym, um, Braveheart MMA. Uh, three of my fighters fought tonight. Um, John, uh, it was his first fight. I feel like it was an early stoppage. He got beat, um, ref stepped in. But again, it's just experience, so I've said that to him. You know, it's just our experience at this level. Um, get in there, try and enjoy it, get get some experience. At least he's had the first one done. Um, but yeah, um, and then yeah, I've had Bradley and uh, David both fight tonight. Both got stoppages. Bradley got a triangle. David got his second armbar. Uh, so I am happy. I'm happy. Uh, and I, I did go for a toe hold, but fucked that. So <laughs> <laughs> I warned him before that he like he likes the leg locks, and I warned him before that. And, I, and then at least he can trust me because he can, he got a wee feel for how leg locks are different when you're getting punched in the face. And there's no heel hooks either tonight, so it was a wee bit yeah. tough. Why can't I? But um, but I I no I, he, he listened good because I said look if if you feel like the leg looks there go for it but if it's no I want you ditching it and and trying to come on top and he took the armbar and uh, I got the finish so I'm really happy for him. <laughs> so obviously Stevie we've had a wee bit of news about you recently. How does it feel going from obviously competing to retirement and that show coaching? How do you feel about that? Uh, aye, th w what was that, sorry? Going through, did you say retirement? <laughs> not necessarily retirement, but not fighting anymore. Right. No, I'm I'm still fighting. Uh, uh, 100%, I'm fighting hopefully in June, uh, UFC Sweden. Um, Hear that? Uh, so, aye, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's tough coaching and fighting, but I'm 100% no done fighting. Uh, so, I'll just put that out there in case anybody thinks that I'm now retiring. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping to fight until I'm like maybe another four years. Um, so it's tough, like I said, coaching, training. Um, but I'll do what I can. Uh, it's hard being best and like one of the best in the world at both. So I'll do I'll do what I can. Stick with my fighting, and then at least I've got my coaching to kind of retire on when I'm done fighting. So obviously, you know what it's like in the fighting game. There's lots of articles out there that are trying to not necessarily bring you down, but there's there's loads of talk. Tell us a wee bit about what's exactly happening. Future reference. You've got your team here fighting tonight. Tell me exactly a wee bit about that. Uh, aye. Um, like I said, I'm coaching. I've been a wee bit injured lately because I got meniscus surgery four weeks ago. Um, so putting more time into coaching. I've not really been training like full, uh, like full time. Uh, I got my first jiu-jitsu session on Thursday. I've been doing some striking. Um, so yeah, that, that's me getting back to it. Um, staying through here tonight. I'm on the way home. I'll go to higher level tomorrow for the sparring. Um, I'm buzzing to get back training, get back in shape. I'm hoping to maybe get on the UFC Sweden card. A guy, uh, a guy from South Africa called me out, uh, Don Madge. We were maybe meant to fight in London, but he said the the date didn't work. So he's mentioned he want um he wants it again. So I I need to go and punish him for calling me out now. Uh, he's he's a good scrapper, young guy, striker. So uh, I hopefully that fight comes off. Um, that's what we're working on. Hopefully get that in Sweden. Um, but again, like Dave, so happy for him. Got the armbar tonight, two and zero. Oh. 
Bradley's went two and one, um, and John got his first fight. <laughs> so, aye, that's it. I can't wait to get back in it, but his night. Amazing. So obviously you're doing a great job and congratulations for your team here tonight. This is Emily Kavanagh from MMA UK. Thank you.